Yo, what's up, guys? It's Pi with Studio Crypto Pi, and today we're going to be talking about Bitcoin, guys, because Bitcoin will indicate what the market is doing. And uh, let's just zoom out, guys, because we just, you know, we just ended the week, and I have to say, guys, we ended it bullish, right? I mean, look at this candle, guys. It's a beauty, beauty right there. Um, let me just turn off the drawings for now. Uh, stay in drawing mode, hide all drawings. So you can just see the candles alone, right? And I mean, big red candle, small green, bigger green, right? It's looking good, guys. It's looking good. And um, I think we can continue this and try to go up here again, right? But uh, we'll have to zoom in to see, you know, on the course on how we actually are going to get there. So, you know, from the week let's zoom in a little bit in on the three day and this is still looking good and look at our side guys not not even not even above the 50 yet we have so much to grow so much to grow all right the weekly is also at 48 so it's looking good guys daily is just at 58 only you know a little bit up there and then at 9.4 you can really see this daily cloud to be a big um resistance point Right now, the 55 EMA is a big resistance point, obviously, but we will break through this, I think, all right? I believe we can break through this, and uh, that it's, it's all looking bullish, guys. So, uh, 12 hour, we have the 12 hour cloud resistance, but it's very thin. I don't think it will be that much of a problem. However, we could see a slight pullback to make that, you know, that wave one, two, three, etc. scenario, and then uh, go. Right, um, six hour, you know, we're above the six hour cloud, guys. Last time we went above the six hour cloud, like went above it, right, like that, uh, was right here, and then we went up, like into it to go under it again, right here at the the seventh of March, right. So the seventh of March was the last day we were actually above the six hour Ichimoku cloud. Um, you know, the four hour, you know, we we fake out here more than than, than ever, but um. We're above it guys and we're pretty steep above it. So it's looking good as well. Three hour, two hour, you know. Let's get back into the one hour here. And uh, put on my drawing tools. Uh, you know, unhide them. So guys, what I draw on here for you is the one, two, three, four, five. And potentially five will be done very soon. right? And that is just to make a big wave one. So we can get rid of this wave here. Because, you know, we only need to see the numbers, that's fine. And um, after that, we're going to do a bigger wave, right? Because, as you can see, guys, we're in a rising wedge. And rising wedges, just like falling wedges, like to go to the upside. Rising wedges like to go to the downside. So eventually, I mean, if we break out of this to the upside, that's very bullish. But I kind, you know, you have to go with probabilities. And that is that it goes down. And then, you know, it, it just it's just going to retrace, guys. Nothing more, nothing less. So... Uh, let me just get rid of this Fibonacci here. So, in order to get to see where we're going, we start at the where we started, right? So, right here at the bottom, and we'll go to this top here, and let's say it goes up here. We don't know yet, guys, but you know this is where the, the rising wedge ends, right? So, um, then we would get a 38.2 retracement of 7,700, and the 0.5 is also lining up with this wave one area of $7,500. Um, you know, that is certainly possible, guys. That's a very probable case even, right? So that is something I see here. If we go all the way to the 12 hour, guys, so I can draw what I want to draw here, is the bigger waves. Um, let's just draw the bigger waves, guys, with the five waves here. Um, boom, 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 boom. Uh, and let me just make this minuet and we'll make this a wave get rid of this for now and we're gonna draw it right now guys we're gonna draw the five waves right so this was so this all is gonna be a one yes then we're gonna get two all right most likely to the point five area or so maybe 38 two only right who knows who knows and then we're gonna get a three you know three up here somewhere probably no this is all probabilities guys around here and then the five this is a bigger wave guys 
this is the big wave that I see that I see forming right now um, we have this resistance here obviously of the 38.2 back up but um, you know uh, it's it's all looking very good right because then after that you will get a bigger wave again right you will get a bigger wave again you will get something like a one a two right something like that a three And th this is hard to do now because I don't have my Fibonacci on here. But um, this all just points into the future here. Right? So we get a 5, right? And uh, that's just. And let's make this uh, minutes. Right? So bigger wave again. And then you get a bigger wave again, guys. That is how Elliot Wave works. Waves within waves. But we're not that far yet. We just have to plan our roadmap, right? So this is like our our roadmap that I like to go by, and it also co coincides with a lot of altcoins, guys. So it's so probable, in my opinion, that we go down, you know, test this again, then go up, have this big third three wave, you know, the third wave, guys. That's a big wave, right? You don't want to miss that, All right? So if you're not in Bitcoin yet, guys. This is not financial advice, but 7,500 looks absolutely good. So um, if we do get back there, right, 7,700 is also probable. So yeah, um, that is just the case. Right? And remember guys, this is our big time resistance line. If we break through that, the masses are just going to flock in as well. So you know, all the retail traders, they'll be like, oh yeah, we're bullish, right? And then bang, <laughs> there she goes. Right, so it's just something guys that you have to have planned out as an Elliott Wave Trader. Um, the three up here, it looks probable to me. Okay, so we're just gonna look at some some targets as well. That is about this negative 618 here, which is also the 618, negative 618 there. Um, Cause it's the same one, Never mind. Um, But it, yeah. It just looks so probable, guys. And if we take the FIP extension here, let's take this as our top, right? Like we say up here, then down here, around there, probably here. So a, a little bit above the one is also negative 618. So, you know, maybe I can drag this a little bit down to coincide with this top as well. And yeah, we get a perfect situation here, right? So, then 9.8k is very likely here and then down again and up to this fifth wave at eleven thousand two hundred twenty dollars so you know that is what i see on bitcoin right now guys and um it's all bullish it's all bullish guys but you have to remember that the 12 hours all the way up here so we you know it's it's just your probability that you go down for a little bit and and reset this 12 hour which would be good, right? It's nothing wrong with that, guys. Nothing wrong with that. Right, six hour, obviously also above, right? We're just looking at RSI, four hours above. So, and another thing I wanna point you to, out to you guys is, so you have price here, right? And I put that line there, right there. If we take that line here, you have RSI. And this is a, a, a bearish RSI divergence, right? And that tells me as well that the price needs to just go down and cool off for a little bit. Same for the rising wedge, everything points down. That we have to, you know, either go back to this 0.5, this area, or the 38.2, which also lines up with the four hour cloud. Also, we have a bullish cloud forming on the four hour. So that's, it's all good guys, it's all looking good. So, you know. 7700 7500 is where i'm looking to add to my position right and uh you know that is pretty much how it is and i mean it's just a quick update on bitcoin guys nothing more nothing less we ended the week very bullish and uh you know i think we can keep that momentum up because our bigger time frames are still very low i mean 58 on the rsi on the daily and three day is at 46 and the weekly is at 48 so um, I think we can have some more bullish momentum for sure 
and uh, I'm definitely not gonna expect the bear to continue for now. Um, so, I mean, I'm just going with probabilities, right? I'm going with probabilities. I know we went down for a long time, but you do have to acknowledge this, guys, right? You do have to acknowledge that we had the highest volume ever on the one hour candle. And on top of that, uh, if you put the linear chart, so not the log chart, we already broke out. We already broke out. I, I like to use log charts, but we then we already broke out to the bullish side. So a lot of trades are already only bullish, which is also dangerous because we do need to break through this line. Yes, we do need to break through this line and this line also lines up with the 12 hour cloud. You know, it's a little bit above it. So, but um, we just need to get through it, guys. And uh, we will, we will, we will. All right. So um, it will just take some time and I, I guess we'll just need one more little swing down and then a swing up right the biggest swing guys because it's the th number three okay and well I mean Bitcoin sometimes does a really big fives right so uh, but it this is this is likely guys so buy zone around 7700 to 7500 and then uh, we're going up to the 98 around there 98 to 10k then back down to around 88 and then back up to like 11.6 right these tops here try those again then go down again etc so you know that is how i see bitcoin right now anyways guys also if you're not in my telegram yet join up with the crypto Pies blog where you can ask me any questions you can ask other people questions it's just a great chat box to be in and um you know uh oh definitely i'll, I'll check this out dude. i'll check this out moon tracker uh, Ethereum is having a big battle according to him. It's, it's always fun to watch guys. You know, you can you can see the bulls and the bears fighting each other. You know, if you like trading, it's fun to see. So, um, also join up with the CryptoPies feed where I post all my upcoming videos. My last one was about ontology guys. And it's just like Bitcoin, right? Prepare for wave three, guys. Um, it's great. And yeah, so yeah, just uh, check it out. So yeah. Anyways guys, join up with the CryptoPies feed as well where I post all my upcoming announcements and also about upcoming ICOs, right? So yeah guys, both telegrams will be in the description below and if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, hit that post notification button and if you've got any questions at all, leave a comment below and I'll see you guys in the next video.